Welcome to the Access Fee for Service Provider Training presentation, How to Suspend a Replacement, Correction, or Void of a Claim Using the Access Online Provider Portal. This presentation covers the professional UB04 and the ADA dental claim form types. What is the difference between a replacement and void? A replacement claim is initiated to adjust a paid or denied claim or to recoup an overpayment. If the replacement claim is to recoup a service line that was billed or paid in error and is not being replaced, resubmit all lines from the original claim, even if the lines contain no changes or do not require correction. Next, submit the service line that you want recouped. This action will recoup the amount paid on the admitted service lines only. A complete void is a total recoupment of a paid claim, resulting in all monies recouped. Initiating a recoup one line is the best option if the entire amount paid must be refunded back to access. The Division of Business Finance has requested that providers do not send a refund check, but to submit the refund or recoup using the online submission void process. Please note, this is not an all-inclusive list. It is the responsibility of the provider to determine the appropriate action to take to resolve the claim. A replacement claim is initiated to adjust a paid or deny claim. This may include correcting or adding revenue codes, removing a line of service, correcting or adding CPT, hick pick or modifiers, the place of service, diagnosis codes, units, charge amounts, member ID, and also to add or correct a TPL payment information. A void is initiated to refund the entire paid amount to access. This may include to correct or change the service provider ID, billing provider ID, and tax ID number. Refund access the full payment amount, a third party payer payment in full, or the service was billed in error and does not require a resubmission. To initiate a replacement avoid, you must include the claim reference number that identifies the claim you want to replace or void. If you are replacing the claim, you must include any documentation that was sent with the previous paid or denied claim. Claim corrections that cannot be submitted as a replacement claim are, every field can be changed on the replacement claim with the exception of service provider ID, billing provider ID, and the tax ID numbers. If these fields must be changed, providers must void the original claim and submit a new claim for processing. A claim must also be received by access no later than six months from the data service. The provider will then have up to 12 months from the data service to correctly submit a replacement claim. Regardless of the claim form type, if you are submitting a replacement or void, the claim reference number must be entered in the original reference number field on the claim information tab, and then complete all required fields. A replacement claim may also be referred to as a corrected claim. Void claim may also be referred to as a counsel claim. In this example, we are looking at the claim information tab and the bullet replacement or void would be the option to select. If you are submitting a replacement or void for a UB04, the claim reference number must be entered in the original reference number field on the claim information tab and then complete all required fields. When submitting a corrected claim, the third digit of the bill type code must end with a seven to indicate replacement or an eight to indicate a void. Follow the steps to submit the claim, completing all required tabs. On the claim information tab, enter the claim reference number and select the option replacement or void. Continue to the service lines tab. If you need to correct a specific service line, select the replacement option. Enter all service lines as indicated on the original submission, but make sure to correct any data fields that were not billed correctly on the original claim. If you want to recoup or refund a payment for a specific service line only, select the replacement option. Enter all service lines as indicated on the original claim, but omit the service line that you want to refund or recoup. If you need to void the entire claim to recoup the total payment, enter all lines of service as they appeared on the original submission and select the void option. This concludes the presentation. For technical assistance with the Access Online Provider Portal, please contact EDI Customer Support or you may contact the Customer Service Support Desk. To view a complete list of videos and e-learning tools for the FIPA Service Program, they are posted on the Access Provider Training webpage. Thank you.